Okay, so I'm going to be writing um, some PHP on, on web pages that's going to access my database. Um, and I probably don't want my web pages and website to just have full out access to my database. Because I wouldn't want it ever to like delete the database or something like that. So I'm going to make a user um, that's actually just the web page and give it its own like login and password and specifically set what powers it has related to my database. So if you don't see this top menu up here, just click on the name of the database we're editing. So that's things. And you should see these options up here. I'm going to go to privileges because I'm going to make a new user. So here we go. Add user. And I am going to give them the username. I'm going to call this um, web because that's what it is. It's going to access my website. Um, I'm going to have it use the local host. I'm going to give it a password that I'm going to remember. Let's just make it Wooten. Because that'll be easy. All lowercase. Um, and I'm not going to click this generate. That would make a random one. I'm going to give it privileges on database things. Um, And then I can choose what I want to let this thing do. So I'm going to let it select, insert, and update. Okay, let's see, structure. I don't want to let it mess with the structure, actually, so I'm going to leave that. And I don't need to let it do any of this stuff. And so, yeah, that's good. Okay. And I'm going to take off this grant all because I don't want it to grant all. I want it to just have some data things. I'm going to hit go. And no. Okay. So now I now have this thing called web that works in the local host. It can select, insert, and update. And I can change that later if I decide there's a problem. Okay. That's how I make a user.